Kumdur is located in the disused quarry near to the headquarters of South Wales Caving Club. It was first uncovered in 1937 by quarrying, and in 1966 it was connected to OFD2 by digging. The entrance to the cave system starts as a climb down a vertical shaft lined with concrete sewer pipes. Below the concrete pipes the shaft has been shored with wooden beams and concrete steps. At the bottom a chamber is entered which closes down quite quickly, the way on being a stooping passage on the right hand wall. This soon leads to this awkward climb down. At the bottom of the climb down, rift passages are connected by this wet crawl. The rift degenerates to a keyhole crawl, dim door. With a tight flat out section in the middle. This crawl meets a stream for a short distance before popping out through boulders into the very tall rift passage, Kumduriyama. I wish I had a plastic bloody box then. For that f reason. After several climb downs a stream is met which is followed to a boulder choke. The way into the choke is on the right before the passage closes down. 
The route through is complex but polished. This navigational obstacle in the cave is often responsible for rescue callouts when cavers cannot find their way through and exit the cave. This large choke requires cavers to undergo a number of contortions on their way through its jumble of boulders. The choke exits into a sandy passage in the Big Shacks area of the cave. From this point a maze of passages can be explored. We pick up the trip again at the diver's pitch climb which is the start of the connection to OFD1. Mark, a slightly larger than average caver, wanted to see if he would fit through the letterbox squeeze before attempting a through trip. He did fit and with this objective met it was time to make our way out back to daylight.
Unfortunately, slightly larger than average cavers do struggle in tight sections. <laughs> 